welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the job site. All right, guys, we got a 938M with an HVAC problem. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to properly diagnose and fix. All right, guys, with CAT ET, you can obviously monitor everything the HVAC system is doing. Um, so basically, you go through machine control, and you can at that point see exactly what the operator temperature is, the cabin air temperature, the ambient air temperature, um, the AC status, uh, AC compressor when it's cycling on and off. Right now we've got it set to AC. So we'll switch it and we'll put it to heat and see if it changes. And as you can tell, electronically, at least from the heads up display, as well as the uh, switch panel, we can see that it at least it is detecting that it is switching from, to heat. Nine times out of ten, these machines, when they start having these issues, um, it's not like the old school machines where you had the older water valves and what have you that would essentially fail or just somebody forgot to open them or close them, vice versa. Um, these ones are all electronically controlled, they have actuators, and they also have their own separate water valve. Alright guys, so you want to check all the obvious stuff out, obviously. Um, if you're having a heating issue, make sure you don't have any air in the system or what have you. That can cause the problem. Um, but this particular case, we had an issue with the water valve actuator. Alright, so here's your water valve actuator. So, if you look at it, you got a, a four pin plug here, three wires in it. You got a ground, the green wire is going to be your positive or your system voltage wire, and then you have that pink wire, which is basically the one essentially that's pulsed that will control the position of the water valve itself. Again, you have the mechanical portion of it right here, where my finger is, and you have the electronic portion of it right here that controls the valve position. Now these valves are, um, I would say, again, like they are pulsed because again, it's going to monitor everything in the system that has to do with the HVAC system. So the ECM is going to say, hey, I want to maintain 74 degrees in the cab, what do I do? So it's going to maintain the position of the water valve. Um, this particular case here, water valve is just non-responsive. Um, I'll go ahead and show you on my multimeter exactly what I'm talking about um, and no, no change. So currently this is the position I have the, the knob in would be essentially cold cold AC and right now we're holding at 3.4 volts now again if we switch it over to your system voltage wire you'll see we've got our system voltage now we're going to go ahead and show you the difference once I actually change the position of the valve all right so now the valve is in basically full heat mode and you can tell the voltage has dropped so basically anything less than 5 volt reference so right there, that tells you electronically everything is fine from the basically the potentiometer at the at the display or the um, HVAC controls through the ECM over the water valve. I've already done check to make sure that the water valve itself, the mechanical portion of it, is functioning. I've pulled the lines and I've made sure that the actual valve itself moves. It's not a whole lot of components there. It's just literally just a um, like a one-way ball valve, or yeah, I guess you could say a ball valve. Um, that side of it works so we're down at the last portion of it which is the um, actual a water valve actually so to actually access this panel all you have to do is take off roughly about uh, half a dozen bolts and this whole panel comes off so basically the inner fender you have to pull this off here which there's a fender here and then there is the main cover right here that's how you access our water valve all right, so right here is our part number 563-0397. Um, these are pretty common to go bad on skid steers, any of the high stat machines, as well as the larger wheel loaders. They all have the same setup. So you can use this part number nine times out of 10 and this will get you what you need for your particular machine. We're gonna go ahead and change that actuator um, and then retest everything, get it up to operating temperature, make sure that the heat is working as it should. And we'll check back with you. All right, so all you got to do to install this is literally three bolts, or three screws, sorry. This guy right here, this one right here, and this guy right here. Remove your connector, pull this off, install the new one, just line it up, and then reinstall. So when you're all done and you've installed it, 
you have to go and test it. So go in the go in the cab, turn the heat all the way up. Um, you can vary your blower speed because obviously the higher you go with the blower speed, the cooler it's going to be. So somewhere in the let's say middle three quarter area, um, rev it up. Get the engine to uh, a pretty high 120 to 140. You'll start feeling heat at about 125, um, and then pretty steady at 140. Um, and you know, enjoy the heat. It's 75 degrees outside right now, so it, it's a it's pleasant out. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that one. Like, share, subscribe. Do what you guys always do. And remember, P pump the world. Have a great day.